Good morning and welcome to our service of worship here on Remembrance Sunday. We are here to become quiet. And as I stand here in this beautiful old graveyard, I see Achnaba Church, Art Hatton Church in front of me, and to my right, the waters of Loch Etiv. I'm surrounded by the warm colors of autumn, the brown and the yellow of, of autumn leaves. And as I stand here surrounded by beauty, I have to think about the sacrifice these young men and women brought. They did not grow old as you and I grow old. They were plucked in the bud of their lives when they were still young blossoms but they gave their all, and that is the immensity of what we have to grasp here today. They gave their lives for others, for us, for you and me, for future generations. So join us in our service today. We have music from Gareth Moore, Andrew and Moira Dunlop, and lovely song at the end by Isla. Our poems are read by Morag Alwood and Mary Thompson. Irene will do the uh, readings from the Bible. And we ask you also to, to join in as we involve our young ones um, from the Scouts. They came to lay down poppies, plant little crosses with poppies at the foot of each of these war graves. Thank you for that. We also include some photos taken of the other war graves. This one is for Captain A. McNichol, but have a look at the others as our service progresses. We can make out most of their names. We also have a photo from the Isle of Col, the war grave there, sent to us by Esther McRae. Thank you, Esther, and thank you for the people of Col joining us in our service today. We also have the, the formal laying of wreaths and Robin Dodman laid our wreath inside St. Modern's Church in Benderloch and then Clark Campbell laid the wreath inside St. Orange Church in Connell. So join us today as we are here to become quiet, to remember and to pray. Please join us. In our first song, O God, our help of ages past, because our God is eternal, and he is with us, even with the soldier who fell in the fields of Flanders and all the other places. God is Emmanuel, God with us, God around us, and God inside us. Let us sing our first hymn. Shelter from the stormy blast and our 
They shall not grow old, though we that are left behind grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them. Let us now observe a silence of two minutes and remember them.
In Flanders fields the poppies blow, Between the crosses, row on row, That mark our place. And in the sky the larks, still bravely singing, Fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, Loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Father, you know that those who have been to war rarely want to talk about it. And those who haven't still struggle to understand it. In this season of remembrance, we try to bridge that gap. Help us never to forget the horror of war, the horror of lives lost, of people changed by physical injury and mental health problems of homes lost and cities destroyed. Help us to give thanks for courage in adversity, for those who went above and beyond the call of duty, for acts of self-sacrifice so that others might live. May we now resolve to work for peace, to pray for peace, to build bridges for their sake, for our sake, for everyone's sake. Through the power of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives in us in the Holy Spirit and gives us the strength to remember and to change the world, but above all, to look up and to find our strength in you alone. Amen. We Shall Keep the Faith by Moina Michael, November 1918 O you who sleep in Flanders fields, sleep sweet, to rise anew. We caught the torch you threw, and holding high, we keep the faith with all who died. We cherish too the poppy red that grows on fields where valour led. It seems to signal to the skies that blood of heroes never dies, but lends a luster to the red of the flower that blooms above the dead in Flanders fields. And now the torch and poppy red we wear in honour of our dead. Fear not that ye have died for naught, we'll teach the lesson that ye wrought in Flanders fields. <laughs> Thank you.
The reading today is from John 15, verse 9 to 13. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. Amen. Jesus once said, Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down his life for his friends. And here we are, surrounded by graves, especially our war graves that we remember today and those who died defending our right to be free, dying to give us peace and the calm of normal living. There is always a sacrifice to be made, and this was a special one. I'd like to use the image of autumn and a tree. Um, most of these leaves come from my favorite tree, the beech tree. But in autumn time, the beech is shedding its leaves. And one by one, they fall to the ground in a way to die. But that's not the end of what happens here. There's an amazing miracle in life we call the cycle of life. Those leaves that went to the ground, they've got a purpose. Their sacrifice has not been lost. They go into the ground eventually and provide nutrients, precious nutrients, for the very roots of this tree that has shed its leaves. And these nutrients then feed the roots and the tree becomes stronger than ever. No sacrifice, no fallen leaf is without a purpose. And in this way we begin to understand the cycle of life. These young men and women who gave their lives didn't give it in vain. Jesus said, greater love has no one than this than to give his life for his friends. And it's one thing to make a sacrifice for yourself. I can do lots of exercises and, and work my body to have the perfect body, but that's basically a sacrifice I'm doing for me, and that is good. But there's even a bigger sacrifice. When I bring a sacrifice that is to the benefit, not just of myself, but for others. And in a way, as these leaves go into the ground, they don't just provide nutrients for the beech tree and its root alone, but for all other kinds of life. It is always sad to think of these lives that are gone forever. But one thing I know, it was not in vain. They gave their lives so that we can be safe, so that we can have peace, so that we can enjoy the beauty of nature, the deep brown colors of autumn, the snow in winter, the joy of spring, and then summer that brings us a garden that bursts into life. Everything we enjoy, the beauty of nature, the beauty of friends, the beauty of love, how precious it is to be alive, comes from their sacrifice. Let us not forget that. For they gave their all. They gave their lives. What can we do today to in somehow reciprocate and to express our deep, deep gratitude? I think there is one small sacrifice I'd like you to bring. And that is to sacrifice your time today. Time to be quiet. Time to remember. Time to ponder on their names and what they have done, but also time to pray. To pray for peace. For we are not here to glorify war. We are here to remember the horrors that war brings when people cannot get along. 
Let us pray for peace in our country, in the world. Let us pray that there may never be a world war again. Let us pray that their sacrifice and the bitter lessons we learn from history may not be in vain. Yes, at the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. They are the flowers of the forest, and they did not fall in vain. Amen. I've heard them build in at the young milken bosses a little before dawn o day. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord turn his face toward you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Oh,
Thank you.